you're, you're certain that you saw three men? Yes. Uh, but the reason they believe that there are three individuals is because witnesses told police that they saw three men with what appeared to be long rifles uh, leaving that scene. And they're now looking for a, a black SUV right now, Brooke. From what I understand, uh, there was uh, three shooters that went in. Um, he, he said he didn't hear or see any of them, but uh, from the reports that I've been getting is that there, are, there were three shooters in there. Um, supposedly they've taken off and left in some type of a Ms. Abdul-McGee, can you describe to me in as much detail as you can, what did the gunman look like? I couldn't see his face. He had a black hat on, and um, from my view, all I could see was just a black hat and black long sleeve shirt, possibly gloves on. Um, he had black cargo pants on, the kind with the zippers on the sides and the big puffy pockets. Uh, he he had a huge assault rifle, and he had extra ammo. He, he's coming ready for he's coming ready for something to reload. I don't know. He had like magazines. Um, I I couldn't see what else I saw. It was I just saw three dressed exactly the same. You're you're certain that you saw three men. Yes, it looks like their skin color was, yeah, was white. They looked like they were athletic builds, and um, they, they they appeared to be tall. You're you're certain that you saw three men? Yes, it looks like their skin color was, yeah, was white. They looked like they were athletic builds, and um, they, they they appeared to be tall. When we, where I was at right here, we seen uh, there were three white men in uh, military fatigues um, taking off. What so, were they driving? Uh, it was, was it a black, was it black Impala, yeah, like MCB, know, uh, SUV, okay. SUV, or, yeah. You think that they might have been the shooters? Yeah. The way they were driving, yeah. Yeah. And how many shots did you hear? Oh, a lot. It was a lot. It, it sounded like, yeah, like I said, it would sound like a gun range, just shots going off like crazy. It was a lot, a lot your, of shots. What's your first name? Uh, Juan. Juan, what's your last? Hernandez. All right, thank you so much. Sir. And it just doesn't make sense for, for these two um, to be able to act like some kind of uh, Bonnie and Clyde or something. It, it's just ridiculous. It, it doesn't add up. You're, you're certain that you saw three men? Yes. It looks like their skin color was, yeah, was white. They looked like they were athletic builds and um, they, they, they appear to be tall. When we, where I was at right here, we seen uh, there were three white men in uh, military fatigues um, taking off. So, what were they driving? Uh, it was, was it a black, was it a black, black Impala, yeah, like MCB, know, uh, SUV, okay. or, yeah. You think that they might have been the shooters? Yeah. The way they were driving, yeah. Witnesses told police that they saw three men with what appeared to be long rifles uh, leaving that scene. There's there's a lot of disconnects and there's a lot of unknowns and there's a lot of things that quite frankly don't add up or seem implausible. There have been 355 mass shootings this year. A few days ago, Colorado Springs. Before that, Roseburg, Oregon. Before that, Chattanooga, Tennessee. And on and on it goes. The San Bernardino shooting was the 355th mass shooting this year. Two of those done by some more sick and deranged individuals. But this time by brown-skinned people who ascribe to being Muslims who obviously, according to the majority mainstream consensus of Muslims worldwide and the Muslim American community and Islamic scholarship, all agree that they were in no way acting in accordance with Islam and the Islamic teachings of peace, mercy, and justice. It would be very racist and bigoted to conveniently forget about the other 353 evil acts of terrorism that were perpetuated this year their religion or ideology wasn't really even brought up at all. 
And now to conveniently only focus on these deranged, sick persons and to use this opportunity to try to defame Muslims and Islam. Again, terrorism, extremism, mass shooting attacks on innocent people, etc. have nothing to do with Islam because Islam condemns it and does a jihad against it. Now anyone who's read The Complete Idiot's Guide to Islam can tell you that. It's very malicious to try and use this opportunity to attack Islam and Muslims. Only the sick dead hearts would do that. Keep your heart alive and away from joining the hate parade. Help be part of the solution and not the problem. Help spread peace, understanding, and love, not hate. Our heart goes out to the families and all the victims of such evil crimes.